Let's see how you can check why your beta flight is not arming and what are the most obvious reasons why it's happening. It's actually pretty simple to find out what's going on because the information is available to you right when you connect to the beta flight configurator and take a look at the setup tab in the info box. Here under the arming disabled flags you will get the list of all the reasons why the arming was disabled. In this case it's about failsafe, angle, MSP and the RPM filter. The alternate way of doing so is to go to the CLI and type status. After this, the beta flight will give you one more time exactly the same list of the reasons. RX loss, angle, CLI, MSP and the RPM filter. Like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, there are exactly 26 reasons why this is happening. However, in the real life, you will almost never see all of those cases because not only they are usually grouped but also some of them are appearing in only very rare cases so now now let's go through the most obvious ones of why you cannot really arm the first four reasons are connected to with your receiver and the fact that most probably it's just not working whenever you will see the arming flag with the word fail safe in it that means that something went wrong either with the getting connection to the receiver or the failsafe flight mode was activated or the quality of the signal that is getting from the receiver to your flight controller is not good enough. So anything with RX, RX loss, failsafe or box failsafe means that you have to check your receiver if it's correctly configured and connected to the flight controller. The next reason is throttle. Every time you see it, that means that the throttle stick most probably is not in its lowest position. If the throttle stick is low but beta flight states that it isn't, that means that either the radio is not sending the throttle in the range between 1000 and 2000. Probably the best way to solve this issue is to never change the throttle range in the beta flight, not to change min check and ensure that your radio is really sending the throttle in the correct range. One more time, it should be below 1000 and 2000 and you can verify this in the receiver tab in the beta flight configurator. The next reason you will see very, very, very often, because if it says CLI, that means exactly what it says. The flight controller is at the moment in the CLI and by default, beta flight does not allow you to arm when the CLI mode is enabled. And exactly the same thing happens if you only connect to the beta flight configurator, because for some time now, beta flight also prevents you from arming if the MSP protocol protocol is active and anything is communicating with the flight controller. You will not be able to arm if the flight controller is connected to the beta flight configurator and you see what are the, for example, arming disabled reasons. The next reason is angle. It's not connected with the angle mode. Angle means that the quad is most probably tilted and the angle of the inclination is just above the, the maximum allowed threshold. So how to solve that? Ensure that your quadcopter is actually flat on the ground or increase the small angle setting in the CLI. Also, some sensors require the runtime calibration. This is the process of getting the zero of the sensor. This might happen to Barrow, this might happen to Gyro. So every time you will see the calibrating error, that means that the flight controller is in the process of calibration of one of the sensors. Leave the board alone. It should go away after only a few seconds. If it hasn't, that means that, well, you might have a problem with your hardware. The next reason is actually connected with the angle mode, because every time you will see the ICC calibration arming disabled flag, that means that you have the angle mode enabled or just configured but you have not calibrated the accelerometer. The fix is super simple. Just go to the setup tab and hit the calibrate accelerometer button. It will solve this problem forever. 
Next, we have uh, two reasons connected with the GPS and the GPS rescue mode. First of them is the GPS. That means that you cannot arm because you have, for example, the GPS rescue mode configured and you do not have the fix. The solution is to either wait for the fix or disable the prevention of arming when the GPS fix is not obtained. This can be controlled with the CLI setting called the GPS rescue allow arming without fix. And the reason rescue switch means that you have at this very moment the GPS rescue mode enabled because you assigned it to the channel on your radio and most probably you have flipped the switch. You cannot arm when the GPS rescue mode is currently enabled. The arming flag RPM filters means that you have enabled the RPM filtering by enabling the bidirectional D-shot, but the bidirectional D-shot is not working. The flight controller is not getting the reported RPM from the ESC, although it's expected to get it. That means that RPM filter will be off and as the result you cannot right now arm because you would like to have the RPM filter to be on. The solution is either to fix the problem with the bidirectional D-shot or disable the RPM filter. Arming flag called the motor protocol means that you have not selected the motor protocol for your ESC because now the beta flight comes with motor output disabled. To enable this you just have to change the protocol of your motor. The next reason is also connected with motors protocols and the ESC. Every time you will see the D-shot beat bank error that means that you have enabled the bitbank d-shot however it's not working that means that the communication between the flight controller and the esc is broken and the solution is either to fix it or to disable the bitbank d-shot or try the different ESC protocol. The flag CMS menu means that you have the CMS open in your OSD and because of that you cannot arm right now. To fix it just leave the OSD menu and then you will be able to arm again. The next two reasons are connected with the flight modes. First of them is no pre-arm. That means that you have the pre-arm mode configured however the condition for the pre-arm the channel that drives the pre-arm is not in the correct position and the second one is paralyzed that means that the paralyzed mode is enabled and thus you cannot arm at this very specific moment runaway takeoff means that beta flight detected the attempt of the quad to do the runaway on the takeoff and thus disable the arming and disarm your quad this means that either you have too much of the vibration really lost control of the quad or just the conditions for the runaway prevention were too aggressive and it was the false positive but anytime you see something like that it means that the runaway prevention was activated and you have to fix it to be able to fly again. On the other hand, the crash preventions mean exactly what it sounds like. The beta flight prevented a crash and now it's blocking you for, uh, from arming again. To fix it, you have to power cycle and then the reason will be gone. And now we go to three hardware connected reasons. The first of them is no gyro. That means that there is no gyro or at least the beta flight is not correctly configured to talk to the gyro and as the result has no information from the gyro. It's either wrong configuration, maybe you have chosen the beta gyro type that is not on your board or the gyro diet. Believe it or not, it's happening from time to time. Load means that there are too much stuff happening on the flight controller and it just does not have enough time to run all the operations that you want this thing to run. Nowadays, it's not that very popular because when we dropped F1 and F3s and went to F4s, F7 and H7s, usually the load on the board is not that high. However, if you see the load error message, that means that your loop time is too high. You have to lower the loop time, run 
the flight stabilization less often so that the flight controller has enough of the time to run everything. The reason boot grace means that beta flight failed to boot in the given amount of time. This is the indication that most probably you either enabled a feature, hardware feature that is not supported on your board or you have something wrong connected or something went wrong, either on the hardware or on the software side. In normal conditions, you should not see the boot grace error at all, because this is the indication that something most probably is not working like expect and it's either a hardware issue or just the misconfiguration of, for example, the D-Shot protocol or something like that. This is very hardware specific. And finally, we come to the BST. You will never see the BST error. If you see the BST, that means you have the Colibri race and something went wrong. But if you do not have a Colibri race, you do not really should see the BST error at all. Arm switch is the special reason that is triggered every time any other of the arming prevention reasons is enabled. You should never really see it alone, it's only an extra indication that something prevented beta flight from arming. I'm Paweł Spychalski, thank you very much for watching and happy flying!